Pitbull Gear Collective. I finally went through that whole box to see all them messes. So I'm going to go through here and try to shuffle them around because, see, I had them like in little stacks. I can't do. It's so big, but I tell you what, that's a lot of damn work right there. That, that is a lot of work, and I'm just going to pull some out from in here, you all. So I don't know what they say. I'm just pulling them from here and there. I'm going to see what it says in a minute. There went one, fell. There's two. I don't know what they say. Like I said, I'm not looking to see. I'm not looking. It's turned backwards. I don't know what it says. But we'll see soon enough now. Directly, we will. I like doing it like this, don't you all? I just want to get a few out of here and then I'll win to you guys, okay? Don't know what it'll say. We don't know what it says, but Spill to let us figure out what it's talking about, don't it? Yep, 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 yep. Spill it lets us know. It always lets us know. Spill it does. I love it. Spill it. I love it. All right, there's enough. This is enough, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome you all. This is called my hat box wreaths, and I had to go for it. I've done red always for you all, and it took me all that time six months to go through all them down cards. You believe that? <laughs> to get every one of them out, three or four fell on a floor. I'm gonna pick him up. <clears throat> we'll see what down says. Somebody might live. In Arizona. In Louisiana. If you live in Arizona and Louisiana, something's getting ready to come to light. Sunlight. <coughs> <coughs> or it's saying y'all been having, a, you know, y'all have a lot of sunlight. Especially out in Arizona. You know, in Louisiana, it's hot down around in there. All right, now let's see what it says. Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to move these. This is from my last energy. So this energy will be Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Aquarius. So this might pertain to these signs. So pay attention. Alright. Let's see what it says. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you all to my little support. I appreciate you. To my new subscribers, I love you and welcome you. And to anybody that gets a message from here, I love you and I hope I can help you. Ooh, American Indians. So maybe you're an American Indian that lives in Arizona or Louisiana. Let me put this like this. Arizona. Arizona, Louisiana. And some card. Somebody wants to tie you up, Divine Feminine, and explore your body. Oh, 422. Some American Indian, and now they... You're a divine feminine if you're a American Indian. They want to explore your curves. And your new cards is coming today. And you'll be so happy. So whenever you see us, you're going to get some new cards. Oh, wow. And um, chemistry is everything. And they're wanting to wife you. Somebody wants to wife you out here. 444. Four, four. See? They want to be your family. Because cancer is force. And that's about family. Oh, and American Indian. The proof is in the pudding. You know. Your proof of it. You're proof at, you know, uh, you 
you can speak of things. Uh, you're, you, you've got Indian lineage, and uh, you know, you're spiritual, and uh, you've got your voice, honey, so you need to use it for the good of all involved. Ooh, divine feminine. Divine masculine loves your voice, and your new cards is coming, and it says, yeah, I love you, but I don't agree with how you do things. Somebody don't agree with how you do something now, divine feminine, but Whoever it is, he's got a smooth, sexy voice, and chemi you all got a good chemistry, but he don't agree with, maybe he'll agree with your spiritual practice, I don't know. But the heart knows what the heart wants and needs. That's the proof. And there's nothing else to say anymore, Divine Feminine. You're voicing voicing it all, and ain't nothing to say anymore. You done said it all. That's what Divine Masculine says. Now, you done said it all now. Don't worry. <laughs> he loves you. Five by five. Who he's changing and he said he saw how his stupid ass man was coming over and trying to get in your down dreams. Yeah, I saw this. I saw his stupid ass man in my dreams just standing there. And uh, he was trying to send ma sex magic is what Spirit said. Spirit said, hell frick no. Did you hear that? And your mother is the one that gave you your psychic powers and abilities. And you can read people's emotions. And you're like all the clear sentience here. Mother did that now. And and your mother did made you a divine masculine, divine masculine, heart chakra healing, proof is in the pudding, the heart knows what the heart wants and needs, and heart come out right there now. See, hit subscribe. Heart knows what the heart wants. It landed right there. The proof is in the pudding, you down marking it. And I told you, I told you I had it in me, I know. Oh, and divine feminine, there ain't nothing else to say that Somebody's divine. Somebody out here don't have no emotions. They're just totally cut off now. Maybe you was healing your heart chakra and it felt like you didn't have no emotions, but you was just healing things of past, maybe. And every time you say you won't ever do it again, and every time you do it again to me now, this man keeps trying to keep coming in your dreams, but spirit blocks mine. They can't get mine out of it, spirit. And uh, this uh, male co-worker that you worked with, he told all your business and, and told many lies on you and, and made people see you as a hoe in the community. Oh, wow. And and uh, this male co-worker's mother might have did something, too. That's why I'm mother above it. But whoever that person is, they gotta, they think they got a smooth and sexy voice and, and they want to wife you. <laughs> oh, man, here's all this. <laughs> uh, people don't think you're a spiritual leader, but they're getting ready to see. Oh, they're seeing it. <laughs> uh, my vision is to be a boss in charge of a business. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? That's why you got to cut off your emotions when you're trying to build a business to a lot of things. Did y'all know that? But I didn't. I still have my old man in it. We got all of our emotions pulled out. I don't know who this is for, but sometimes you got to do that. So don't get mad at our divine masculines out there because that's what a lot of people has to do when you're trying to build a business. I mean, you don't cut your feelings off totally, but you have to uh, you have to work on yourself if you're building a business, you know. Somebody needs to listen to Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish. Okay. And I don't know why, but that's what it said. And it said, I couldn't say goodbye. It hurt too much. Oh, it's somebody, it hurt too much. It's Sagittarius that you didn't say bye. Oh, God. It hurt him so bad now. He old man, he's mom, you didn't tell him bye. It hurt him so bad. Well, we we can't help it, you know. Uh, when you people, you warn them and warn them to stop doing shit, and they kept doing it, you know. Sorry. You know what I mean? <laughs> someone out here is a 70s baby and someone is a 90s baby maybe it's 90s baby uh, is seeing you be a boss and in charge of your business <laughs> oh and it says hold your arrowheads and North American Indian tribe will help you make a way for your own self oh wow 929 did you hear that American Indians American Indians and I didn't see that and y'all know this you know I didn't see it you know I didn't. Spiritual union does all turn like that. You see now. This is your all spiritual union. I love you, spirit. Oh, they love you, but they don't agree with something that you're doing now. And uh, 
they they said to quit telling them that you're going to do something and you don't do it now. They're pissed off at you. They know that you're all supposed to have a spiritual union now. And you had to step up and call them out now. You had to step up and call out this co-worker. Huh? And you saw the future outcome in your visions. Oh, yes, you did. And Spirit loves you. And you can't feed off of my energy because I protect my energy. That's what I'm saying. Uh... Wait a minute, let me see. It says, you've got a nice, juicy butt, and your man loves you because you're all a spiritual union, and you're mystical. You're mystical. That uh, Your mystical messages is what, call, uh, is what uh, called out what this Sagittarius did to you. And God said, my child, it's time to go. Do not put your time and energy onto people or places and things that you know it ain't right for you. Quit doing that. Oh, well, what God said. Oh, looky here. Oh, male co-worker, that is a Sagittarius. Look. Sagittarius. See it? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. You bo do you boy spirit? Do y'all believe my spirit team? You know I didn't see it now. Angels never leave my side and your all sides. You see that? <laughs> they never leave our side. This person that rejected you, if you're feeling rejection or, you know, that's okay. We all have to feel that sometimes. But the angels have your back. They they never left you this whole time. Darren is uh, worrying about being rejected by that person. Uh, all I know is whoever did you wrong, there will be person in the flames. And you started doing what you love to do. If you you had to feel your way through all this bullshit. Yeah, you had to feel your way through all this. I did, I did, I did. And paybacks are a mofo. I love spirit. This is how spirit told that story. Spirit is so funny as shit. I got funny ones. I got funny spirit guys. Can y'all tell? Oh. I love that one. Paybacks are a mofo. Hang on, let me put this down. It's down a Sagittarius that thought he had a smooth and sexy voice. And he was mad because you didn't tell him bye. And he thought y'all had a wonderful chemistry. And his mother loved you now. And, uh, and, uh, you're telling us mother in Sagittarius, hey, uh, I had to step up and call out how his son of a bitch done things. Oh, I did it a mystical kind of way. I had to feel my way through all this bullshit. These people blabbering and shit. And act like they didn't. Get in our bell and quit scratching. And, uh, so I used to listen to Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish. And, and, every, and this person, every time they said they wouldn't, you would ask them to stop doing something 13 13, and then they would purposely do it. Yeah. Like I said, don't come around me whenever I'm cleaning your house at, when I'm ever cleaning at this person's house and they would still come there while I was doing it and they know I didn't like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They didn't have to be there. So yeah, so that's why. And uh, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. And somebody's cards is coming in. Oh, oh, oh. And I don't agree with how this man thought it would be funny to try to do sex magic and come in my dreams. I don't think it's funny. Uh, co-worker. You're going to be Persian in the flames. Yeah, because I did reject you. And, uh, I have a spiritual union. And my new cards might be coming in today or tomorrow or Monday or something. And, and your man loves your juicy butt. And he loves your energy. And you protect your and his. And you're all Indians. And you all have your, your Indian things. And here's my little Indian knife. Here's my Indians. Here's my Indians. Oh, I love it. And, Somebody's 90s babies out here, and you're going after your vision of being a, a boss, and you got to cut not, you got to cut off a lot of your worrying about what that person is doing, whoever it is on your mind. You got to cut that out. That's why it'll feel like it ain't no emotions. But you're just trying to get it out of your brain, you understand? That's the only way to heal. Uh, and angels don't ever leave your side. They ain't nothing else to say anymore. And, uh, 
and your voice in it, and you're good at what you say, and Divine Mascot wants to play with you. Oh, God, he loves you, American Indian, and he wants to, he loves that you go and do what you love to do, and God said, it's time for you to put the time and energy, don't put time and energy into these people anymore, because God said, my child, it's time to go away from you people. They don't understand. God said it. That's why. That's why I sat down and did this practice for everybody to see. I love you guys. Have a spirit told it. That's true. Oh, you saw the future outcome of your visions? I did. Somebody's a 70s baby. That's my old man. Oh, God. And people don't think that you're a spiritual little, but they're seeing that you are and that you help heal people's heart chakras and... And the heart knows what the heart wants and needs. And a poof is in a pudding now. The poof is in a pudding now. I like that, didn't you all? <laughs> now i got to start all over and throw all these cards back down here on my table so I can get the big stack again, you know what? <laughs> <coughs> Let me get a drink. See what? Let me see what I can tell us with this. What, what is we need to know today, Spirit? Hang on, you all. I'm gonna get out a little something and read it to you. Remember, Arizona, Louisiana was the state. That might have something going on. I don't know. Oh, spirit. I love you. Spirit, spirit. Spirit, spirit. I love you, spirit. Thank you. Thank you so beautiful. That's funny. That just come out like that. How it's talking about that man in your dreams. I love you, spirit. You're so funny and hilarious. You prove it a second time. Oh, it's funny. It's funny. Oh, 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 your beauty is funny. Oh, God, they do. I love you for it. Oh, what else? What else? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what else? Oh, that was quick. Why'd you do so quick, Spirit? I love you. What else on this? Oh, Spirit, you're so fun. Oh, that way. Oh, piss, 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 piss. Oh, piss, piss, smush face come out now. Piss, piss, smush face. <laughs> it looks funny how yeah. it looks like I sm I call these smush face Freddy. Oh, because <laughs> how his face looked, how I draw it. You know what? I'm just joking, y'all. It looks like a little cartoon. You know how I do that. Now, shit, you got You know how I do it. Oh, Stuart, you're funny. What else for? I'm going to praise him. What else for that? What the hell did this say? All right, hang on, you guys. I didn't see that, and I went ahead and got it because it just flipped it, and I didn't see it. What else? What else for on the right? What on the right, bold spirit? I put them one darn cards back in, are you all? I'm trying not to get them out again. Hang on. Creeper. 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 I just had that. And what on her creepers? Oh, he creeps. Spirit, I mixed them. I mixed them. And I was another word of darn I mixed. Put it down there out of the way. Yeah, let me guess another. Oh, I done had... I'm not giving that you all. I just read it in that reading. Spirit. Oh, that said good. Okay, okay, okay. What about this dude? Dude. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, oh, okay. What about? Oh, you give two spirit. I love you, spirit. Why'd you do that so good?
Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh no, it went like this. Sorry, I did wrong. Sorry, it went up. It did go like that. Alright, so here it says, you guys. It says, your beauty is stunning. And one look from you makes my heart beat so fast as a hummingbird's wings are fluttering. I love you, lovely lady. That's how poor my baby Pamela. Did you love it? I love it too. Somebody thinks that you're just, their heart beats a million miles an hour like a hummingbird. It just goes beating up so fast. Oh, and the average person walking around, they pack 13 lives inside, tucked away for no one to find. Until that great awakening, we see we're freer without all these lies to become one most truer and feel a brand a newer. That's why when you pound Star Oracle, did you love my new poem I wrote? I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm helping all of humanity. Free yourself of them lies, them 13 lies. Oh, and they somebody wanting to speak their truth to you. And they want to tell you their real feelings now, collective. And, uh, and, uh, they've been pulled in a lot of directions. But they feel healed and ready to tell you their damn truth now. And somebody has you, uh, sometimes you think that you know a person. Till that same person makes you question if you can trust anyone at all anymore. Have you ever felt like that? Yeah, I know you have. I know you have. Oh, and they're pissed because you found out their true motives. Oh, this person is pissed that, remember a while ago it said that man was coming to your dreams? Look. And I said my ancestors catch it. See, I'm not lying. My ancestors catch my dreams. Oh, I love you for doing that, Spirit. You witness to them. I'm true. I'm not fake. I'm not. I love you, Spirit. And you're like, if I have to tell y'all all the wrongs that you did to me, why would I forgive you? But you do. It's like I, you had to keep voicing it. But, but they kept doing the same shit over and over. Why? I don't get that. I'm not apologizing for shit I didn't do anymore. No. And I won't forgive. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not apologizing. And then they'll act like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> and just act like nothing ever happened. No. Uh huh. Oh, and my guys communicate to me daily and send messages that show me what I need to focus on in my life. Yeah. Does your all do that? I love y'all. 2228. And I see your all's true color shining through. That's what Cindy Lauper said in me over here at Pound Star Oracle. I see y'all's true colors. And people see mine. And I love you guys. And, oh, yeah. And then I needed, I, I believe I messed up. So I'm just going to read like this. And sometimes in life you'll fail, but don't let your failures hold you back from what God wants you to have. Go after your goals and dreams and praise Him. See? <laughs> praise Him. And somebody is telling you... Uh, you're, somebody uh, is saying, Who the hell are you? I'll try to tell me how to live my life. I choose to live in the light energy and tell others. You're telling others about this person that's creeping in the woods behind your house. Yeah, and I seen a boot print in the snow last year. I did, you all. And my kids won't live with me then. Yeah, and then I fucking knew that I heard somebody over at night before. I, it was like the day after my birthday. And I told my old man about it. It scared me and creeped me out. Because they, I know it was that. I know it was. I, I know who it was. Oh, and uh, there resides within being a sleeping giant. He is a dark and wild creature full of power and potential when accompanied by his divine feminine counterpart. Honey! Hang on, y'all. Tell them dogs go outside and let them out, Bo, because they're in here acting stupid. Holler for Bella. Sorry, you all. They're trying to piss or something. Get in there, Bella! <clears throat> Sorry, you all. Uh, Those get on my nerves. They need to go shit or something. And, uh, what was I saying? Together, they can become an unstoppable force of love and action that can heal and save Mother Earth. And I got that from, it said by Shakoba. I got it off Pinterest. So, there's a sleeping giant. There's a sleeping giant in this man. And, uh, or inside of you. And, uh, it's wanting to come out. I don't think I read this. Divine Masculine is in regret. He never experienced a real love from Divine. He was just into too many women and partying until dawn. That's what's wrong with him. That's old smush face funny now. And uh, I just read that one. 
And uh, when you're telling a truth in a reading and you hear a spiritual burp or your nose is itching plumb off your darn face, then pay attention because a truth's coming to the surface. Burp. Mm. Oh, wow. And what else? Uh, when people are jealous of others' gifts and what you have and your partner and what you and your partner have, it only means that they are in a relationship where they have no true love like you do. That's why they're jealous. See? I'm not jealous. Oh, I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. I praise my old man. I love him. I feel brand new. And, and so out here is getting is being blackmailed for something. So this person tried to blackmail you. Huh? This person that spies on you. And maybe you all uh had a work contract together. Or you could have been married. And this person's creeping around your house at night. Girls, I don't know. You all only know that. I don't know. But uh, this person is dependent on your energy and, and, and in a relationship in general. I know this person up here is the one I was talking about. Oh, and uh, it ain't my husband. Oh, and Mercury retrograde. When planets appear to be rotating backwards, Mercury is the planet of communication. In short trips, you may experience turbulence in these areas. See, there, so during Mercury retrograde, this man is, is uh, trying to uh, give you nightmares. And, and, and spirit ain't letting it happen. Nope. Spirit ain't letting it happen. And uh, somebody, they they're, they're, they fooled around and lost you for good. I mean, this could be a business, job, relationship, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're mad that they lost you. And this person uh, was is a creep. He's a creeper. He's creepy in the woods behind your house. And, you know, I told of this. I spoke the truth on it. I praise, I praise divine and God, I love you and I thank you for showing me. And I know my true colors are shining through and people understand it. And and whoever is in a codependent relationship, uh, this this person did. This one I know, he, yeah. And they, they got, they, they was going through divorce. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. This is this dude at work I talk about, okay? Oh, and during Mercury Retrograde, he's going to try to come around and uh, bang you. Are you listening? He's going to try to come around and uh, uh, he might be trying to R-word you. 2733. So you better pay attention while I'm telling you. And if somebody is, might be in a marriage and it's toxic and y'all need to get away from each other. Because you're too codependent on each other. And you need to do this shit during Mercury Retrograde. When you need to cut the tie with this piece of person. Ever have, who, what it is in your life, you don't fit the story, I don't know. But whatever it is, it could be a past life contract from way, way long ago. Or it could be a marriage today. I don't know. Y'all the only ones that know now. Not me. I don't know. <coughs> Let's see. Let me give you a little love message. Hang on. Oh, they got a test coming. Oh, and it's a it's somebody. It's going to be real good looking. It's going to test you now, and you're married, and they're going to test you. And I told y'all this. When you're in a relationship, it's always going to get tested. You know it's right? It's always going to get tested. There's always going to be another test and another test in your life. To overcome it, you don't even have to be in a marriage. You're always going to get tested by divine. You know that, right? Your strengths and weaknesses is being tested. Divine soul counterpart attraction, superfence, superficiality. A marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blended together. See, somebody's trying to test you all because they're attracted to your married life. No, you're not coming to fucking around over here, buddy, because that big old in our mind's going to get you now. I'm telling you right now, if y'all trying to do something at my marriage, you're going to get, you ain't going to like the results, so I'm just telling you. I'm attracted to my marriage, you understand? Yeah, and I know I've been tested in it, me and my husband, and we can speak of it. Oh, and I done said, 29, 29, I done said six months ago, uh, if... If anybody's going to do a, a business together, it's going to be me and my old man. I was, and I was the first person I thought of it on Tyro Land to be a partnership and actually do a practice together. Yeah, I was the one that said that. So all these people that's saying it, you can go back and I have proof of it in my video. So then you'll see where people figure that idea. Oh, I love you guys. 
Oh, and I hope it's helps on day. I don't really care, though, because the vibe, I, all my shit's protected. All right, you guys. Well, peace. I hope it's helps. Bye.